I polished me pewter, I tidied me kitchen. Me dresser looked white as the stack in the snow. And maybe the wind of me skirt I am stitching, for I'm very neat with a needle to sew. Uh, I'm just thinking of when Brandon went to school. He was five years old. He went to Sister Monica in North William Street. And I thought he got a bit bold at home. And I went down to her one morning, and she met me in the hall in North William Street. And I said, Sister, I have come down to tell you that Brandon is getting very bold. So she says to me, Mrs. Bean, are you aware you're rearing a genius? A brilliant boy. And I hope to live to see him go through university. And another thing, she says to me, I want to ask you, why did you go and cut off his curls? Well, I said, sister, curls here, or genius is there. All I want of you is to try and make him a better boy. I'll sing you a song of peace and love Whack for the diddle for the died o day Of the land that rules all lands above Whack for the diddle for the died o day Hello there, I'm Derry Farrell and for my drawing from the well I'm exploring the life and songs of Kathleen Bean and I'm here in the ITMA today to speak with Des Geraghty about Kathleen who lived for a spell in Crumlin just around the corner from where I grew up. Whack full the diddle full the died o day So we say hip hooray Come and listen as we say Whack full the diddle full the died o day Well my mother was a farmer's daughter, an only daughter and she was reared a very great lady and father was a grocer from a RD they were very, very well off at the start of married life. And whatever happened to them, I don't know. And they died in a tenement room in Dublin. She would have had a fairly tough upbringing. Her experience would have been city origin, because she was born in Capel Street, so she yeah. was a Dubliner. She spent some time in the farm, and she also spent time in, in the in orphanage. You know, mm -hmm. the times were tough in those days. Yeah. And it got tougher for her because of the number of children she had, as you know. Mm -hmm. Married twice. Then the, her brother, obviously, like I mean, you can't you can't really go anywhere without mentioning him. Like yeah. that, he wrote the soldier song and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Like I mean, that you Not know. On the national anthem. He wrote the words incidentally, and then Oran Ravine was translated into Irish right, yeah. afterwards. But he wrote he wrote a lot of other songs, and uh, as you know, Brendan had it as well. Brendan was a nice singer, uh, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. Dominic became one of the best writers in modern tra uh, traditional song. But she carried a very old spirit that goes back to the Thomas Davis and goes back to the earlier writers. It kept this flame of the national spirit alive mm -hmm. among ordinary working people. And I think that comes right through the whole family. There was poetic tradition. Mm -hmm. There was a very strong culture there and there was a very strong nationalism there as well. Mm -hmm. But they all had a kind of strong uh, national spirit. Mm -hmm. They were rebels at heart, all of them. I sing you a song of a row in the town when the green flag went up and the red rag came down, twas the neatest and sweetest game ever you saw. And they played the best game played in air and go brown. I sing ye a song of a row in the town How the green flag went up and the red rag came down it was the neatest and greatest thing ever you saw And we played the best game played in there in Gubran Here's a help to the men of the bold rank and and the line hearted women of Erin's Green Isle And be true men salute them with wonder and awe For they played the best game played in Erin God bless Gallant Pierce and the brave men who died. Tom Clark, MacDonough, Mac 
Dermot McBride Owing years to James Conley Who gave one last hurrah For he placed the machine guns For Erin Gubra All honour to Dublin To hers the renown Who in long generations Her name will go down and our children will tell what their forefathers saw Oh, the red blaze of freedom over there in the brown Kathleen was the sort of character that it didn't need much encouragement to get her to sing a song. Of what I always refer to as the Dublin Shandos, which is the old style of Dublin singing. It went back, in my opinion, it went back to the town crier. Yeah. You know, there's, I, I always remember when I was a kid, there's a newspaper seller, and he used to sing out, you know, Hello, man. You know, the songs. Yeah. And a lot of the thing, come on, you loyal heroes. Yeah. And that's how people got their news and their information. And in fact, the songs were the way events were recorded, because there was no uh, um, social media. Yeah, <laughs> and, that's it, yeah. and, the, and the national media weren't paying attention to the ordinary people. So it was through songs and... That was how they conveyed information and history. Even when I was a kid, that was through around the liberties, you know, that, that was there, street singing. me love and I did stray Where in the good old slushy mud The seagulls sport and play We got the whiff of ray and chips and Mary softly sighed, Ah, John, come along for a one and a one down by the liffy side. But on the, on the question of Kathleen, Kathleen would have been very, you could think back to, to James Clans Mangan, who also grew up in Dublin, go back to Thomas Davis and so on, the spirit of the nation. They used songs and ballads to kind of build people's spirit when they were way down. Look yeah. after the famine, so look when she was born. People de were devastated. Mm -hmm. People, emigration and death was just what they were so yeah. associated with. And by the way, even when I was growing up in the Liberties, TB was rampant. Kids that I went to school died. Mm -hmm. I mean, children disappeared in, in the morning. You didn't see them. You didn't know. What, they wouldn't tell you. And I yeah. think that spirit of Kathleen and people, my mother had it as well. Mother used to love to sing a song. Mm -hmm. They sang because they knew hard times and you didn't need money to sing a song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you had a tradition uh, of songs and remembrance and emotions uh, that didn't cost money. When all the world is young, lad, and all the trees are green, every goose is a swan, lad, and every lass a queen. You may get up on your big white horse and gaily ride away For youth must have its fling, love, and every dog is day when all the world is old, lad, and all the leaves are brown, and all your big high hopes, lad, come tumbling, thrashing down. Oh, go ye to your corner, lad, the spent and maimed among. And God grant you a face there, lad, that you loved when the world was young. The thing that I find fascinating about Kathleen, like the people, one thing that they all had in common is they kind of they either played music or they sung their songs yeah. and they kind of had seemed to have to do it to raise the yeah. spirits of the people that were downtrodden. Yeah. We're very lucky for the likes of, of Kathleen and the Bean family, I suppose, to, that they kept that kind of song tradition 
so very much alive, like uh, you, very you, much alive you, because of that. You, like, you, you can know? be proud that you, you're carrying on a tradition, mm -hmm. and don't let anyone make you change your accent. To sing, because one of the bad things to happen in the tortoise part, everyone that had to sing a song had to have a, an American accent, yeah. <laughs> or someone had to have a, a guttural English accent. Yeah, you should yeah. never let anyone talk down the Dublin tradition. I'm a buxom fine widow who lives in a spot in Dublin, they call it the Coem. And me shop and me stall are laid out on the street And me palace consists of one room In Patrick Street corner for 45 years I've stood there, I'm telling no lie And as I've stood there, sure nobody would dare To say black was the white of me eye you may travel from Clare to the county Kildare From Drogheda right back by McCruem Oh, and where would you see you find a widow like me? Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom Me boys, Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom I sell apples and oranges, nuts and split peas, bananas and sugar stick sweets. I sell second hand clothes on a Saturday morning and the floor of me stall is the street. Oh, I sell fish on a Friday laid out on a dish, fresh mackerels and lovely ray. I sell lovely herons, such lovely fresh herons that once swam in dear Dublin Bay. You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare From Gerrhoda right back by McRoem And where would you see a fine widow like me Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom Me boys, Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom Well, I have a son, Michael, and he plays on the flute. He belongs to the Longford Street Band. It won't do your heart gun for to see him march out when the band plays in Dolly Mount Strand. In the park on a Sunday, I'll cut quite a dash. All me neighbours, they look on in surprise. At me grand paisley shawl and me bonnet so tall, it would dazzle the white of your eye. You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare From Gerrhoda right back by McRoem And where would you see a fine widow like me Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom Me boys, Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare From Gerrhoda right back by McRoem Oh, and where would you see a fine widow like me? Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom. Me boys, Biddy Mulligan, the pride of the coom. Fresh fish.